What's up guys? We are going to go eat. Mama needs food. Mama needs some food. She's hungry. We're gonna go. I got there's Mason back there. Hi. What's up, buddy? Devin's over there. Hi. And we're gonna go get some good Mexican food. There's a little place in Goliad. It's not nothing to write home about, but it's good. It, it's good it's good enough. Yep. It's good breakfast food. It's just a, a place to grab a quick, cheap place to eat. So uh cheap bite to eat. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go get some tacos, something like that. And uh, today, what are we gonna do? We're gonna weigh our meat chickens. Yeah, we're gonna weigh so the meat chickens. Get them off the processing. Yeah, we're, we're trying to fatten up batch one and batch two, really, but we're, we're focusing on, on batch one right now. We're hoping that they're really, really close to processing weight. And they're gaining weight pretty good since we switched feeds. If you guys have been watching our previous videos, we switched to a different feed and they seem to be doing a lot better on it. So, I'm interested to see what their weight is today because they never weigh what you think they do by looking at them. That's, that's one thing that we've learned. Mm -hmm, but they do. They look like normal size for processing, especially after looking at them yesterday. They just they they look do. good and healthy and what, fat. What do you think, Dale? I think about they're their size? weigh about six pounds maybe. <laughs> anyway, it looks like they are getting close, so we're happy about that. We're going to go try and weigh them later on uh, along with some other stuff around the house. So we'll take you guys along for that. We'll catch you guys in a minute how was breakfast it was great, great. it was yeah. good we actually didn't have breakfast we <laughs> forgot that some friends of ours real sweet family the lopez's if you guys are watching we love you guys yep. and they had kind of like a soft opening today at the restaurant they don't have their full menu we forgot about that going on today so we ended up going there instead of the little mexican restaurant here and we had hamburgers and i had a hamburger steak everything was good it was good um yeah. we're really excited for them yeah, we're really excited for them and real real happy for them it's been a long journey for them it looks like they put a lot of work into it so we're proud of you guys we're gonna go stop by the texan i forgot to tell you you want something to drink yes because i didn't bring a drink with me i didn't want to get hot in the car uh, while we were going we were in there it's the texan and goliad best store ever yeah the texans are awesome so nice and clean they're no buckies though yeah no buckies but that's pretty still pretty close Y'all pray for me. <laughs> so beautiful is in the Texan. The Texan. Get something to drink. These guys are hanging out. Yep. What do you want to do today? Fix the go kart. Go to Outlaw Pass. Oh, we're not going Outlaw Pass today, boy. Go on the boat. Devin's go-kart got uh, messed up. The torque converter got all jacked up. So I got a replacement part in and never changed out a torque converter on a go-kart. So we're going to do that today. And I'm going to teach my man Devin how to do it. Hopefully we'll get that back running for him. Yeah. And if we can find that part to the carburetor, we can put that aftermarket air kit on there too. That intake kit. Oh, I forgot. Probably about have it all apart. But there's a little tiny, tiny piece. There's like a little replacement jet that's really small. And I put it somewhere for safekeeping and I can't find it. So we'll if we can it. find that, we'll put that Devin on there too. It. You think Devin stole it? Mm -hmm. Probably did. Yeah, I'm not brave enough to take the boat out on a Saturday just yet. The lakes get crazy. You got all the weekend warriors that come out on Saturdays. Yeah. And it's pretty dangerous out there sometimes boat etiquette people are just like driving all over the place no one seems to care who, who you are or where you're at and uh so yeah we try to avoid friday nights and saturdays we pretty much never go to the lake we pretty much never go out there but we will take you guys along for that at some point maybe sunday after church yeah because we so. yeah. we've got that church ministry we got church i'm preaching again on sunday and then we have an outreach ministry in the park where we hand out pizza and just kind of love on the uh, people in this in this little park and talk to people about God. So uh, we're excited about that. And then after that, maybe we go to the lake. Yeah. Hi, beautiful. Hi, handsome. What? I was sneezing. Oh, she was sneezing. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> you better not have COVID. Negative. Okay, can you, good deal. Can you grab your phone for me, please? Yes, ma'am. We'll go through this one away. All right, got some caffeine get us energized through the day so we can get some of this stuff done.
All right, we'll catch you guys later. All right, guys. We are gonna go and see if our batch number one is up to weight. We're gonna see what their weight is. What do you think they were at, Dev? Six pounds. Devin thinks they're at six pounds. I think they weigh more than that. But like Steven said, it's always hard to judge by their size. What? Do you, how much do you think they weigh? Eight. Eight. That that would be great if they weighed eight pounds. Yeah. The new feed that we have them on is doing really well. So we are gonna go out to the pasture and weigh them and we're gonna show you guys how we do it. Daddy hooked us up. Yep. It's a lot easier because I don't know if you remember in previous videos we would stand on a scale, get our, our weight, and then hold a chick and stand on the scale again and then subtract to the weights and that's how we figured out uh, the weight of the chicken. But this time it's a lot easier with the way that we did it or the way that we have it set up to do it. And it's gonna go a lot faster because after weighing six chickens it takes a lot of time Ooh. to step on and off a scale. Mm -hmm. And a lot of yeah. math. It breaks yep. our brains. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> no. Yeah, the only frustrating thing about this one is I can't really see it. It's kind of like hard to read yeah. the letters for me. Yeah. I'm short. Letters? Yeah. You mean numbers? What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to send Mason back to uh, kindergarten so he can learn the difference between numbers and letters. All right, y'all ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma it feels great out here. You feel that wind, especially in the shade. Uh oh, the pool's gonna be cold. Yep. It'll be great. All right, let's go do this. Okay. All right, guys. So this, excuse me, chicken. This is how we weigh. So Devin is gonna put the bucket on there, and, and honestly, this is just a fishing scale. So like, whenever you're out fishing and you want to weigh your fish that you catch. That's what this is. We're gonna actually post the link to this uh, in the description uh, from Amazon. And it seems to work great. We just put the bucket on there and then you turn it on and make sure it's zeroed out with the bucket on there. And then you just plop a chicken on the inside. And there you go, there's your weight. We're gonna weigh six different chickens. So that way we can kind of get like an average. So he's gonna turn it on. Hopefully. Oh, there we go. Oh, there it goes. And it shows zero. Mm -hmm. All right, you want to grab the first chicken? Look at that pretty white chicken. All right. What's it say? Hold on. Seven. Eight. Eight. We're up to eight. Eight oh four. Eight point four. Eight point oh four. Oh, eight point oh four. Sorry. Man, we got an eight pound chicken. That's mm -hmm. pretty All right, good. Wait, you got to leave the bucket on there, silly. I was right, Dorothy. You. I was right. Make sure it's zeroed still up. Zeroed. It's still zero. Oh, okay. Yeah, you were right. Let's see what this next one weighs. That one's a bigger one. It's so hard to tell. You got it? Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's turn you a little bit. See. Six point nine four. We haven't cared for anybody yet, so they don't have any, they have food, but not a lot of food. So we're gonna come back and feed and take care of everybody after we're done with all these weighs. All the weigh-ins. It's hot. In here, yeah. That breeze feels good though. Yeah. 586. 5.86. I just, I'm still blown away that we have two that was about eight pounds. That's, I mean, that's great news though. Yeah, last one. Last one. Sure Which one's going to be the lucky one? And this, like I said, this has made it so much easier to weigh these guys. Because we would have probably still been on just the second one. Alright, number six. Lucky number six. 7.49. Oh, wait, 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 oh. wait. 7.49.
Ew, gross. <laughs> What happened? Seven point. We'll do seven point four nine. It's going back and forth between the two. Wait, seven point five one is the official number. All right. So now we are gonna go away batch number three, just to see what they those are. And we're excited because we can put all six in that bucket at one time. You got it. And turn it back up. It takes a little while. And we're going to be back out to feed these guys. They have plenty of food to last until we're done uh, weighing the next batch. I can't get it. You need help there? There it goes. Yeah, what happened to this door? Like, the goats. Oh. They like to rub up They're against like, it. Book. All right, guys. So we're going to go see batch number three. We'll be right back. Woohoo. Devin, are you having a hard time catching them? Yes. They're fast, aren't they? What? Look. <laughs> I got two. Two for oh, that one can jump. How many you got? Four. Five. One more. Ow. Oh, ah, lucky number six. All right, guys. Oh, so gonna go we're going to walk around and uh, weigh these guys. So with these, since all six of them fit in there, we're just going to get the total weight and divide that by six and see what it is. All right. Let's see, Deb. Oh, we forgot to throw out the bucket first. Oh, man. Darn it. Mace, go get another bucket. Oh, yeah. We need to turn it off. Yeah, we'll just get another bucket and transfer them into it. Or we Rookie could just, mistake. Or we could just do the other bucket. Consider that. That's what I'm saying. Hook the bucket up to it and zero it out and put these in the other bucket in case the other bucket because it's not the same brand in case it weighs different. Oh. Spider web. All right. Hook that one up. All right. Let's zero it out. Zero. Point three pounds, point four. <laughs> they weigh a small amount. This one's a pretty big one. Yeah. Five. One more. All right, what's it say? Two point six four. All right, 2.64. And then divide that one by six, Mace. So 0.44 pounds. How awesome is it that batch one is getting up to weight? Pretty awesome. Yeah, I know. Mason's coming. But before we take care of everybody, we wanted to show you guys this awesome watermelon. Like it's just, it's huge. I think it's the biggest me and daddy has ever seen, honestly. So we're gonna cut it off the vine. Oh wow, that is yeah. big watermelon. Look how big. I don't, seriously, I don't think I've ever seen one so big. Mason, mm -hmm. you helped grow this. You wanna do the honors? Sure. You wanna get that look, and it's starting to turn brown right there. All right, you wanna pick it up? Let's see if Here. you can pick it up. Don't drop it. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> yeah, it's a big watermelon. <laughs> hey, don't drop it. <laughs> I can't believe it's so big. Do you need help? Uh, Here, Deb. All right, guys. We got us some watermelon. We got to put it in the fridge so it can get cold and we can cut it. Mm -hmm. And we need to cut into that cantaloupe. Yeah, we do. We have a cantaloupe to cut into, too. So we can go put this in the mule. All right, let me see. All right, guys. We are gonna put this in the fridge so it'll get cold. I think that's all we have for you guys today. We're just really excited that batch one is up to weight.
yeah. where it needs to be. Here, Dev, grab this. Oh. It's slipping. My watermelon baby. That is a heavy watermelon. I know. Well, we love you guys, and we will see you in the next video. Look at that. <laughs> Big old watermelon.